Yo, what's going on guys alpha place here today i'm showing you guys how to play wii games on your computer uh so we're gonna show you to the video something called dolphin emulator which we're going to install right now so open up google type in dolphin emulator and then right here dolphin emulator i'll leave a link in the description to it so go over here download and then you're going to select one of the development versions i don't I anyway, mean, I never tried a beta version, but just get development version, uh, the one right here, the most recent for you. Uh, this one is for me right now, 5.0. So uh, I'm gonna download this. Keep in mind, you would need 64-bit on Windows, and you could also use uh, Mac OS or Android. But today we'll be doing Windows guide. So here we go. You also need a decent CPU and GPU, uh, nothing crazy, but you also need uh, some type of that to actually use this thing. So this is what you downloaded right here. So I'm gonna right click it now and use something called 7-zip, which I'm gonna show you right now. It's actually a little thing you could install. So just type 7-zip and right here, I'll leave this in the description as well. This seems like it's the newer one. If you look here, 1921, uh, and then you can see the date. So this is the newest one. So I would just get this one. So after you download that, you could actually extract this thing. So right click 7-zip, and you want to extract it to itself so this one right here once you extract it you should see this now so you actually have the file folder so double click open it up and go in here as well and you should see the dolphin application so now you're just going to want to double click and we're in the application so i already have my games here because i've been doing this i've been playing it uh, but i'm going to show you exactly what to do so now we're going to want to decide what you're going to want to use i'm going to use an xbox controller for this example so now you're going to go to your controllers here, and depending on the games you're going to want to get here, you could do GameCube controller or a Wii Remote or both. So I'm going to show you just the Wii Remote because since these are Wii games, so make sure the Wii Remote 1 is on emulated Wii Remote or if you actually have a real Wii Remote too. But I'm using a Xbox controller, so I'll go to emulated Wii Remote, configure. So here's the device you're going to use. So of course I'm going to use um, X, which is Xbox input. So that's going to be mine. If you have a PS, PS controller should be uh, this input right here, but this is keyboard. So it should be another one that says uh, the input and that should be for your controller. So like I said, you could also use your uh, keyboard if you want, but it's just more of a process. And, you know, I think it's better on controller. So I could do maybe a separate video on keyboard. I still got to figure that out actually for myself. So now all I got to do is uh, you basically just got to copy all of this that I have right here. Uh, you could change it up slightly if you want to. Uh, some little things. You basically just configure it how you like it. But um, you would just click here and then press the button you want. So now what you want to do, some games might require um, shake control that is usually on the Wii. So that you just got to go to motion simulation and set this up on, uh, I just use trigger L, which is the left trigger. So once again, click left trigger and just do that for X, Y, and Z. And that will replicate the shake motion in games. Some games also require you to tilt, which is what this is. So I just had this on shoulder L and shoulder R. So... I couldn't, I'm going to show you right here. So obviously on the controller, it's just these two. So, um, and I don't actually know how to use it wirelessly. I don't know if you could. I actually have a micro uh, USB right here that I plug into my controller. Because I don't think you could use it wireless, but I might be wrong. So I'm using it wired. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if you could use a wireless controller. So I plug that in. So now I just type something in. So I guess I could just put controller and... Uh, save that now the final step your actual games all you gotta do is make a folder so i'm gonna make a folder in my c drive right here called dolphin games and here i'll put my games so uh yeah now we have our games in here all we're going to do is go to config paths and we should see uh well you have to add your path for me my path would be of course what i just said uh my dolphin games folder so just select that folder and then make sure you have search subfolders on and that's basically it for that now all your games should pop up right here and you could play them. You could go to gra your graphics and kind of get this set up to how you want it. I just put on 1080p and all that stuff. So this is just to get it working. So your controller should be working. I'm pressing A to go forward. All right, so I currently have my uh, moving on my D-pad because I like it better. Uh, if you see my setup, that's what basically what I set it up for. So I'm gonna go in here and uh, I, could, I could show you how you could do analog, but. All right, so here we go. Uh, X is kind of to sprint. And of course you use your d-pad to move so this is at 60 fps i'm not sure if you actually put it above that i'm not sure if you actually put that above that but yeah and let me just show you the shake motion so the shake as you can see works, so. i'm going to quickly show you if you want to do analog you just go to your controller remote configure as you can see here d-pad 
you would just click and then analog up, analog down, analog left, analog right. And that should be good. Yeah, so as you can see, I don't know if I can show you my wire is not that long, but I'm using my analog stick to move. So let's see. Kind of personal preference, but I just want to show you guys how to do it if you wanted to do it like this. So as you can see, now it's using the D-pad. I actually kind of like it like this, actually. I, think. I don't know. I might actually like it better. But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching the video. And, uh, also, by the way, X is to pick up.